And, uh, oh, we didn't do, should we do our introduction since we're yeah. out here also? We're Heavy Metal Beer Club. And we finally made it to the Copper Brothel in Sonoida, Arizona. And it's about uh, 45 minutes south of Tucson. And we've been talking about wanting to do more videos at different venues to show you around places because we have so many great venues here in uh, Arizona. Look at the beer wait. garden outside. It looks so cool. Yeah, they have a really nice patio. We'll have to the bar, go out there and show that. The bar they have is beautiful, though. It's uh, wood and brick with a big mirror and some lanterns. They have televisions in here for whoever likes to watch sports. They have, they've got different sports games on. It's really fun. And it's big open ceiling. Very cool. They have brunch on Sundays. Looks like they have all kinds of great stuff um, on their menu as well. Look at that. It's gonna be so good. Oh my gosh. Oh, here we go. Everything looks so good. We want everything. <laughs> and you were just telling me something that you wanted to try? I want to try the Scarlet's Cranberry Fig Porter. Ooh, nice. And at 7.4 ABV, Scarlet is a well-balanced but robust porter made with black mission figs and real cranberries, a seasonal Ew. dipper. Yeah, we got our flights here. They have like little cards to tell you what the beer is. Because you know how sometimes you write down the number somewhere and you have to refer back to the menu? You got it right there, right in front of you. That is really nice. I love that. Very nice. Great presentation. Yes. So mine here, the Felina. Yes. It's funny because that reminds me of uh, in El Paso, Felina. the Wicked Felina, which is an IPA though. And this is an oatmeal stout nitro. It reminds me of Pie May's t-shirt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Give her a taster. Oh man, I'm tasting Aaron Go Brow. So this is a good red, Irish red, and it is very drinkable, it says. Okay, let's try it. And we won't do an entire tasting, but we'll just That's go through some taste of it? these. Yeah. Taste it. What's it called? Aaron Go Brow, Irish Red. That is really good. Yeah, very, that's very, very flavorful. Fresh. Ooh, I got the Menage a Trois Wheat, which is a fruity threesome of orange, okay. passion fruit. But you're not tasting guava. the Aaron. Really nice flavors. Oh, man. This is an oh wow moment. You have to taste that. The guava, the tangerine in it, passion fruit, it, it's, it's all there. Wow, you get all good. that flavor. That is yeah, this, yeah, this one's fantastic. Ooh, All right, thank, thank you, you very much. Ooh, nachos. Ooh, the food. Food, we have nachos. So we're gonna have to eat some nachos and we'll get back to you. <laughs> okay, we gotta try another beer still. Yeah, Menage Trois Wheat. I am going to tell you about the cranberry fig porter that I was really looking forward to trying. And it is everything I hoped it would be. It is so good. Um, sometimes porters are more on the smoky, drier, kind of just a heavier taste, smoke taste. And this does have a lot of fig and cranberry, and it tastes very brown sugar to me. So it's it's got a nice sweetness. I love that it has cranberries in it because it's so seasonal. And then the Felina was very good, which is the oatmeal stout. Lighter, not as sweet as you would expect. Super yummy. It's got a little more smoke to it, a little more dry and ending. And I wanted to make sure to mention that they brew all of their beers in-house, but they do also have a couple guest staffs and they have cocktails available. They also have whiskeys available, some bourbons. So if that's your thing, not beer, then they got something for you. But who would want the guest caps when you can have all of this? House brewed, not me. Look at this food before we destroy it. Oh yeah, look at those nachos. I can honestly say these are some of the best nachos I have ever had. The smoked pulled pork on it is extremely flavorful. What do you think? Yeah, and the, um, the salsa is really smoky and delicious. It is so good. So for our regular meal, we split the chili relleno and we just realized that we are destroying this thing even before we got an opportunity to talk about it. It is just outstanding. I love the pictures. Yeah, the pictures are cute. The artwork is cool. Now, we just finished eating. The food was outstanding. Oh my gosh, that's so good. And the beers were great. And what was the highlight beer for you? Our, and our foods were delicious. I like the uh, I like the porter a lot with the figs and cranberries. Yeah, that was outstanding. I really liked that a lot. That was as probably well. my favorite. And you know what? Something is the service. The service our server oh, yeah. Levi was just Levi great. Levi was super yeah, cool. Yeah. 
really good. Everything was just quick, great suggestions. And we are absolutely going to be back. Yep, in fact, for we sure. will be back and bring friends. When Look we how have pretty friends, it is. From out of town. And then up on the building, there's more seating up on top, which is really cool, or down below, and it's covered and shaded. So it's really, really nice. Thank you for joining us on the Heavy Metal Beer Club trip to the Copper Brothel. Stay safe, drink responsibly, and stay, stay metal. metal.